This is chapter two, which is an introduction to the Network X API. Uh, what we're going to do here is actually show how you can use Network X to create and manipulate graphs in your computer's memory. And what this will do is it'll help you interact with graphs, thereby also giving you a language for concretely exploring graph theory ideas. Now, in this video that I, I'm recording right now, I'm not going to walk through the entire uh, notebook uh, from top to bottom. What I'm going to give you is actually a, an overview of the key things that you'll want to learn how to do. The first one is you want to learn about the data model. Uh, it's dictionary-like. There's graph objects. There are canonical ways that you instantiate graph objects, and you can also instantiate different types. I want to make sure that you're able to use Network X, Network X API to be able to do a few things. So firstly, you want to be able to query node information so you can like figure out what nodes are available. You can figure out what metadata might be stored on each of those nodes. Secondly, I want to be able to give you the ability to query edge information. Right? So in this case, now what you're going to do is you're going to figure out what edges exist and also what metadata exists inside there. Thirdly, uh, I'd like you to know how to manipulate the graph. And this means adding nodes, nodes uh, sorry, adding nodes, adding edges, um, optionally also removing nodes and removing edges. Okay. Uh, inside here, there's a little exercise that you can use that will help you get practice with that. Now, you'll notice there's some coding patterns which we use. Um, these are extremely helpful. List comprehensions, I'd strongly recommend that you know uh, how to use list comprehensions uh, in order to answer some of these exercises. They'll give you a very, very uh, efficient way of and concise uh, sorry concise way of uh, uh, answering those exercise questions um, now you definitely want to have the network X docs open uh, I, I can't emphasize enough how important it is when you use a Python package to also be able to know how to read the docs um, even seasoned users like myself of network X I still refer to the docs all the time so it's extremely important to get used to get used to um, knowing how to read the docs, navigate the docs, and try to use the docs to figure out what you're trying to accomplish. Right? It's a great way of getting familiar also with the overall structure of the package. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to invite you to now uh, launch the binder session, open up the Jupyter Notebook. Uh, mine has shown up here. Of course, the session is dead now because I opened it up quite a while ago. But you'll be faced with a notebook interface that looks like this and you can use this to try out the exercises inside. Now, if you're ever stuck, never give up. The reason is because we've got answers for you that you can use in case you have a problem, all right? So, uh, and you can study the answers. I find studying some other people's answers really informative and then, you know, going back and applying it in my own work to, to be really helpful. I'm not gonna belabor this point anymore. Those of you who are seasoned programmers, you know how important this is. All right, so please go ahead, uh, attempt chapter two. And uh, once you're done, I'd like to invite you to go, to go on to the next chapter, chapter three, which is super exciting. It's about graph visualization.